Welcome back, my name is Chris Boris, the Ghost Doctor, and tonight we're going to the Haunted Jail in St. Augustine, Florida. Now this episode was recorded a day after the St. Augustine Lighthouse investigation, and we were crossing our fingers hoping the exact same thing would happen tonight, but it didn't really pan out that way. But we still had some really cool things happen, so enjoy. My name is Chris Boris, and I'm the first ever ghost behaviorist. I interact with spirits by studying their behavior patterns. So you were involved in that crash, correct? And I come armed with psychology, sociology, and ancient texts to connect with a spirit on a higher level which has never been done before. Oh, oh I got goosebumps I on that one. That. With these new skill sets, I can talk with them. Did you die in this room? Interview them. And really get into their psyche. Do you want us to kill somebody? which in turn helps me to diagnose them. <laughs> Hauntings in this world are on the rise, and it's because these bigger issues are at play. I'm here to counsel the dead and help empower the homeowners they haunt. Ooh, you're right here, aren't you? The next level of ghost hunting is here because the ghost doctor is in. Tonight our travels bring us to the old jail in St. Augustine, Florida. We've been asked here to follow up the claims of people reporting to see apparitions at this location. As we survey the area, we quickly realize that these spirits could be former inmates that either died in the building or were hung in the gallows. Tonight, we hope to make contact with the spirits here in order to answer these questions. We've investigated a lot of jails and it seems like each one has their own personality. So it's gonna be interesting to see exactly what we'll get here. So this should be an interesting investigation. Uh, a little bit of a change from some of the other jails that we have done with large prisons. Uh, this is gonna be a smaller facility, but nonetheless has just the same amount of uh, paranormal activity as the other big ones do. Oh, oh, oh. Is there a Tom White in here? Oh, I'll get just like a split second spike, but that's it. Are you checking us out? You know, if you need absolution for everything that you've done, you need to come forward and talk about it. Explain your story, why you did the things you did. This is more comfortable? You want me inside a cell to talk to you? Got a device with me. This lets me know when you're around. I'll set this down here and you can come near it and touch it. Make the lights go on it. Let me know that you're in here with me. You guys weren't so bad. You broke the law, but it's not the big deal. You, you, oh. Okay, good. I got, okay, now you're, at least you're talking with me. I, I appreciate that. Um, okay, good, good. Okay, go ahead and you can make the light stop for a second. Maybe we can use the lights as a yes or no answer. You can light the light up if it's a yes and leave it blank if it's a no. Can you do that for me? Can you? Okay, good, you can. Thank you, I appreciate that. Are you a prisoner? Okay, were you a warden? You were a warden. Okay. Were you one of the wardens that are on the wall over there? They have a picture of all the pictures on the wall. Were you one of them? I think there's something in this area. <sighs> oh, I'm starting to get that feeling. Is there somebody here? This is some tight quarters here. Those conditions are horrible. People think they had it bad in the modern day jails. Why don't you come up here on top bunk with me? That was me, sorry. Oh. Yeah, if you're in here, sit right here. Sit with me. Is that you? Getting spikes. You guys see that? We've been hearing reports of you guys scaring the staff who work here. 
Which one of you is doing that? If you want us to leave, can you light that up for us? Nah, nothing. Ah, it's quirky at best. Now, even though this K2 session we had was very short, it was still very interesting on how this spirit interacted with us. The spirit would come in, answer a couple questions, and then leave. And this happened a couple times until it left completely. But despite that, we're gonna trudge on and see what else we can get to happen. It's probably the only interaction we're getting. Yeah. I wanna get to know you guys. I wanna know why you were in here. Did anyone here commit a murder? Did you embezzle money? Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear the rattling sound? I heard somebody say yes. That was so weird, I heard like a yes right in my ear. Now I swear I heard something say yes in my ear. And what's interesting is that psychics tell you that they hear spirits on the inner part of their ear. It's not an external thing. And they'll tell you this clear audio type event usually happens on your dominant side, which if you look at the video, happens in my left ear, which I am left-handed as well. And I listened to this tape maybe 50 times trying to hear that yes, and I just couldn't hear it. But what's weirder still is I heard this exact same answer at the lighthouse just a day prior. Do you want anybody to leave? Did you hear that voice? Yeah, I heard a voice. I swear it said yes. So this is really weird that I heard a response in my ear and couldn't hear it externally. You have the Frank's box? Yeah. Maybe we want to break that out and try a session with the Frank's box, see if we can get somebody to talk to us. Can you answer us questions with this, with this box? What's your name? What's your name? Tom? Horses, I heard horses. Is that, were you a horse thief? Did you steal? Stop it. Stop what? Come on. What were you in prison for? Stealing. Stealing. You hear that? Yeah, stealing. How, how long were you in jail for? How many years? Four. You tell us your name again? Did you steal? Should we turn it off? Yeah. So here we see a very interesting session that we had with the SP7. Again, it was pretty short, it was kind of quirky. Stop it. And that's the kind of energy we kept feeling in this place throughout the entire night. So unfortunately, since we were getting this kind of resistance of the spirits here, we decided to just wrap it up and call it a night. I thank you for sitting with us a little while. Tonight we got some K2 hits in the general population area of the jail. It started to answer questions, but then vanished as soon as it came. But the K2 meter hit was about the, the best evidence we got tonight. Now, even though we didn't get a lot of evidence at the old jail, this was still something that we could learn a lot from because our interactions were very short and we had to figure out, okay, well, how do we avoid this pitfall in the future? And I had to turn to psychology to figure that out because one of the things that set us back was we didn't have a Matt figure like we had at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Having Matt there helped us build a quick level of comfort. And I had to figure out, okay, well, how do we do that if we're in a circumstance where we can't rely on somebody like that? So this really helped me in figuring out how to course correct when on one of these types of investigations. And from here, I was able to make sure that this wouldn't happen again in the future. Since the spirits here have stopped being forthcoming, it's time to pack up and head home. So even though the evidence was kind of on the lighter side, this was still a great investigation to learn from.
And of course, this was quite an amazing place with a lot of history, the old jail in St. Augustine, Florida.